Okay, uh, next thing that we'll see is how to do debugging uh, with uh, both with Node.js and with browsers like uh, Chrome and Firefox and everything. Okay, so we have seen how to do debugging use inside the browser itself, but how if you want to do it from uh, the script. So you want to do it with Node.js uh, if you have Code Runner and you have Node.js installed, then you can just you know put breakpoints like this in your code at places, and uh, you can go to you know uh, you know. Uh, run and start debugging and you can either take uh, node.js and node.js preview if you take node.js preview then it runs and uh, you would uh, get the breakpoint hitting here uh, of course and uh, then you can skip through the lines of your code and every time it has stopped on a particular line you can check out the value of the variables right now you can you know check uh, what uh, data is there inside the closures what is what where global variables are there uh, you can put a watch on a certain variable uh, like you know uh, if you want to you know uh, watch for uh, say the value of uh, a into a uh, if you want to watch for the value of a into uh, b at this stage what it would be okay uh, so we can do that and we can run go to the next step and uh, so on and the file uh, runs and it ends so you can uh, do a line by line uh, debugging uh, like this and uh, you can also do is uh, something when you are uh, basically doing a breakpoint debugging for example at this point if i run and it will stop so if i run uh, start debugging with uh, you know node.js preview when it stops there i can in fact change the value of x here which uh, would be a very bad thing to do but we can do that uh, i can change the value of x to 11 uh, in which case if i go inside the area when i uh, go here so the value of a here as you can see is has come out to be 11 because i had changed the value of x to 11 so at runtime you can change the variable values in the memory as well of the program so that you can make changes and see how those changes affect so it's a very powerful thing to be able to breakpoint debug your uh, code when you're running it and you can click on disconnect if you want to stop it midway and then node will get killed and it will uh, stop running okay so if you want to uh, debug uh, if you want to uh, debug with uh, chrome or with firefox uh, then what you have to do is uh, you have to uh, go again uh, go to the index.html uh, go to run uh, start with debugging and we'll select chrome not the preview one the normal one you will select on chrome and it creates a launch.json file for us uh, so this is it starts it's starting to get a little technical here but you need to have this uh, launch.json file uh, so that uh, you know you can uh, start your debugging modes so here uh, inside a dot vs code folder uh, launch.json file gets created so inside that uh, we have a configuration type chrome with launch and the name of it is launch chrome against localhost like that here this url we have to make a little change here so when we open index.html via live server so if i open control shift p live server you will see that it opens uh, like this uh, inside i will just uh, open it here once uh, yeah so uh, so if I open it, uh, as you can see, it opens inside uh, port 5500, right? So we'll have to target the same 5500 port instead of uh, 8000. So inside launch.json, we will write uh, 5500, okay? And uh, that's it. Uh, now, if we try to launch our Chrome uh, debugging, we have to go to the uh, debugging tab here. Once we go to the debugging tab, select uh, launch Chrome against localhost. Uh, in our script.js, keep make sure the breakpoints are added. Click on run and... Uh, here we have an error. Now this error happens because uh, for you, this error might not happen uh, if you have the default version of Chrome installed. For me, I don't have the default version of Chrome installed. Uh, what I have is the uh, Chrome Canary version. So if I uh, you know, uh, run uh, Chrome, you will see that I have the, uh, sorry, the Chrome Canary version, which is the alpha version. So I have to pass the uh, executable file of Chrome here. I have to pass it like this. Uh, runtime executable and here I will have to uh, paste basically my uh, Google Chrome uh, proper path here because uh, the computer does not know what is the path to Google Chrome because I'm not using the default version of Chrome okay so this you can pass if you, you are using Chrome beta or you are using Chrome canary then you can do the same thing as well so once you have done this uh, let's uh, try it out one more time click on this and as you can see a window of uh, Chrome opens up my file is running there is a breakpoint here uh, and i can go through the you know data of the files i can see the you know variables and the watch and everything i can see my call stack all of these things i can uh, see uh, 
here uh, just like uh, you would see if you debug inside chrome and once you have run the file completely then uh, the file would have opened inside uh, chrome here okay the uh, other uh, way of doing with uh, firefox is uh, we can add a new run configuration here there's a button called run configuration add it and you can add one for firefox so firefox with server we can add so firefox with server if you add a uh, new run configuration with firefox uh, with launch mode reattach again we have to change the port here uh, which is 5500 and uh, where launch firefox with localhost let's say i say and if you go to the debug tab uh, this time you would see there are two options launch firefox launch chrome let's select launch firefox and uh, this uh, would probably work i click on run and Mm, so. hopefully it would have run uh, so there doesn't seem to be any uh, output errors uh, also with firefox also if like a different path for firefox is needed that also can be passed uh, using uh, Firefox executable and we can pass the path to my Firefox script and I think Firefox start it okay uh, so probably some errors with running on Firefox it seems like uh, I'm having right now uh, but uh, that, uh, uh, that's because the Firefox is kind of in a uh, experimental mode and the Firefox one running that might have some issues but uh, the Chrome one works uh, perfectly and even with Firefox like I said you can just go to inspect and uh, you can select debugger and uh, you can you know hit debug points here and you can just refresh the page and you can debug inside the browser directly instead of having to debug it via VS code. So I was just uh, showing it uh, for information how you can debug with browsers but ideally for uh, front end uh, I would recommend debug it directly inside the browser that's uh, easier to do and for back end uh, as you have seen uh, we can uh, do it with uh, the uh, node.js debugger automatically that one that exists inside uh, VS code. Okay.